There's been a running series where I take on the ideas you leave in the comments, and I try to accomplish it. But today, I want to give the prompts you all left a little twist. So, let's get to it. First up today, we have this. Build the tallest vehicle possible. This is a pretty simple idea, but at the same time, that's what makes it great. Immediately, I thought I should just make a skyscraper with a steering stick on top. Due to the fact that I could take this prompt in a variety of different directions, I decided I will make the tallest vehicle, but only by using the items I can find in this area. And aside from the device being a total pain to move around, it was a pretty smooth build. Now, my only issue is, how am I going to get up there to control it? Lucky me, there's a nearby rocket. So, I fused it to my shield. But, uh, yeah, I kind of missed. So, I climbed up there. And it don't work. It's either the mismatch items or the distance between the steering stick and the wheels. Either way, it is still a pretty tall vehicle, so watch as it drives itself into the lake. Outstanding! Up next, we have this. One steering stick, six small wheels, one fan, one large stone, two construct heads, two beam emitters, one small wood board, and two logs. When I first read this, I thought that sounded like a bunch of ingredients for a recipe. Until I read the second comment where it stated it was for a vehicle. So, instead, I decided I want to see what kind of outrageous creation I can come up with. In no time at all, I had gathered all the items, and even grabbed one of the large rock slabs that fall from the sky. This build for sure is going to be next level. <clears throat> Bad. While building, I discovered the way I was putting the items together was starting to create what looked like a disheveled mech. So I took that idea and ran with it, with this being the final result. Now let's see just what it's capable of. Oh, yep, okay, absolutely nothing. Up next we have... I need a tool for fighting Molduga. Easy. I present to you... The Master Sword. In all seriousness, the rest said to make it perhaps Dune inspired and make sure it was loaded with explosives. Now if it's been a while since you messed around in this end area, this is Molduga. And this is Molduga with a party hat and sunglasses. With that settled, all I was thinking is that I should make some sort of worm. So I went to Goron City in search of some minecarts to use as the skeletal structure. With plenty of carts in hand, I got to work. Just to make sure I wasn't doing things too satisfactory, I decided that instead of adding a ton of explosives, I would instead add fire hydrants. Overall, this thing turned out pretty cool looking. Not entirely sure of what it will accomplish, but it did squirm around a lot, so there's that. Outstanding! My last video didn't do so well, and I've come to notice that on occasion YouTube just won't promote my stuff to others. Even with that being the case, I still had a wonderful amount of comments left on that video when compared to the views it had gotten. So I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who is here and supports the videos I make. Last week, I attempted to make a workout device for the mobs. Long story short, it didn't work out with the devices I made. However, this week, I had an epiphany of something I didn't think to try last time. And once I get my mind set on something, I have to see it through. So my new plan is simple. 
I will stake a large wheel to the ground and place a platform on top that will rotate with the wheel. In theory, this should keep the mobs in constant motion, and at the same time, it will serve as a merry-go-round. I'm not kidding when I say this took way too long to test out. But, at long last, I was able to properly exercise a choo-choo. Yeah, it perished. As well as... A Bokoblin! But, we both got flung off. Overall, I was very pleased with these results. If you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and consider subscribing. Also, leave a comment because I respond to those pretty often. And as always, I'll catch you next time.